The sight of the woman frowning put pressure on Claire's chest, wondering why the dryad was giving off such a reaction to Hannah's question. Though she didn't look at her friend, it was likely that Hannah was experiencing a similar feeling as the woman stood there in silence. Before the silence became overly oppressive, the woman said, Inside the shelter, there's no need to be concerned about your safety. The shelters are designed with many scenarios in mind, as though facing a myriad of worlds in an endless multiverse. Claire felt herself being able to breathe easier upon hearing the woman reassure them. However, she found the way it was expressed to be odd. Continuing, the woman said, The problem arises when speaking about the inhabitants of this place and whether they will be able to experience the world as before its collapse. Picking up on the meaning of the woman's words, Hannah asked, Does that mean Star Moon has figured out a way to defeat the modified humans? Once again, the woman frowned. The problem isn't an easy one. Her face slowly shifted to a neutral one. But there may exist a way for humans to begin reclaiming their world. Hearing the message of hope being hinted by the dryad, Claire's ears perked up. The woman turned towards the elevators and began walking away from them instead of finishing her words. Not expecting the woman to walk away from them, Claire's mouth hung open in shock. As she tried to comprehend what was happening, she saw Hannah beginning to walk after the woman. Seeing Hannah move to follow made Claire regain herself. Walking after the woman, Claire tried to piece together everything they had been told. The woman stood in front of the elevators. When the two had reached her, the door to the elevator slid open to reveal the clean and simplistic interior. Moving to the side of the entrance, the woman motioned for them to enter. Feeling nervous, Claire slowly entered the white room. When she turned around, Hannah had followed close behind and now stood next to her. The woman was the last to enter. As the door to the elevator slid closed, and they found themselves inside the enclosed area, Claire could smell the comforting scent of a forest. Her eyes looked to the woman's green hair, widening as she noticed how it shimmered in some areas, like the sun glimmering off of spring leaves. This elevator is only designed to take the residents of the fort to the shelters, the woman spoke up. Pulled away from being lost inside the woman's hair, Claire asked, feeling confused. To the shelters? I thought we were in the shelter. In a way, yes, the dryad answered. The area we were in is more of an entranceway to welcome those who enter, helping them to calm themselves to the new reality. It's the reason for the forest. Is the forest real? Hannah asked. As though not hearing Hannah's question, the woman continued, Our contract with the military had us design the shelters in this manner. Many of the other sites have the welcome area as the actual shelters. Still, each one has an elevator leading to the area that we have fully designed. Why did Star and Moon design the shelters in this manner? Claire was confused feeling as though there was some deeper meaning being hinted at by the woman. We at Star and Moon recognize the limitations of others, understanding how others are stuck to conventional mindsets. Knowing this, we had the military agree to our request of making everything below their shelters to be managed by us. The excuse of connecting all the shelters to one another in case families weren't able to enter into the same area. As Claire listened to the woman explain the rationale behind how the shelters were designed, she had a feeling the woman was smiling. 